Hello, welcome to Inspiring Leadership Stories, where we look at self-leadership and leadership through different lenses by sharing experiences and stories of other coaches, mentors, and experts across the globe. And all of them are change makers. And today I'm so excited because I welcome Lupna Eraji. Uh, Lupna, welcome. Can you please introduce yourself very br briefly? Uh, who are you? What do you do? And where do you live? Thank you, Fabian. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm very excited to have been a conversation with you today. Yeah, so um, I'm uh, Lubna Arashi. I, uh, I live in New York and I, yeah, New York, New Jersey area. I've been here for 20 years. Uh, I'm originally from Morocco and I'm an executive and career coach for professionals uh, who are in career transition and those who are uh, seeking to keep advancing in their career. Wow, that's that's really very interesting. And so so how do you help your clients, uh, Lukna? Uh, yeah, so when uh, when I start working with uh, with my clients, they are in a place where they're thinking about transitioning. And when we talk about transition, it could be either uh, getting promoted within their same company or looking for a job somewhere else. Uh, or just thinking about how to grow and be better leaders for for their teams uh, while they're on this continuous path of growth. And the way I help them, I help them to gain clarity about what they want exactly, uh, about defining a vision, uh, where they want to be in a couple of years, in five years, and from that vision, uh, we also get them to reconnect with their values and set clear goals and we take it from there. Wow, that's super, super interesting. And as a matter of fact, um, this morning I was coaching one of my clients and um, as you know, I help female managers to get the best out of themselves and their teams uh, so that they thrive and that they build thriving yeah. teams. And we were talking about this as well, you know, getting and setting clarity and a very clear vision and a and mission and, and the direction you want to go, it's, it's extremely important. Yes, yes, you said that the direction. When people don't have direction, uh, where are they going to head, right? Yeah. Where are they heading? Where are they going? They yeah, need exactly. to know where. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, it all starts with self-leadership at least that is my opinion i don't know whether you recognize this yes yes definitely i'm actually a big believer that everything starts from within uh, so i know i didn't mention that at the beginning but um, in a previous career i was a neuroscientist so so i did a lot of studies of the brain and actually, uh, in my coaching, I incorporate a lot mindset coaching because everything starts from within. We need to have that very strong connection to what we truly want in order to be more successful. And like you said, self-leadership, right, is what we will allow us to, to keep thriving. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Self-leadership, self-mastery, it, it absolutely starts there. Now, mm -hmm. talking leadership, um, could, would you please share with, with our audiences uh, what did your previous jobs, bosses and life teach you about leadership and self-leadership? Mm. Uh, so I would say that um, the best leaders, you know, I, I, I was either working with or reporting to are the ones who lead by example. Okay, they are the ones who have uh, self-confidence, they are not they are not scared to say what they think, they are not scared to share even their, their vulnerability, right? And these leaders are the ones who uh, support you and care about your performance and care about your growth, right? Yeah. These are the people, these are the people who, who inspire me the most. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's true. Um, I really believe in a servant leadership style. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and that's what I help my clients with because yes. this is what the, the world really needs and what the corporate world needs. This, this new type of, of leadership. And, and by the way, I also believe that women get to play a vital role in that. Uh, do yeah. you recognize this as well? And uh, do, what is your uh, opinion about this? Fabienne, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm aligned with your thoughts, okay? I'm, I'm totally aligned with that. Yes, I mean, women women get to claim their place wherever they think that place is okay they need to uh, express themselves they need to raise their voice you know when i say raise their voice yeah communicate clearly and say what they want or what they don't want yes and in terms of servant leadership i'm that's totally one of the styles that I use because I think that also as coaches, uh, we are not there to tell people what to do, but we are there to guide them and empower them and make them feel amazing and connected with what's truly important to them, right? And I believe that that's some type of servant leadership. We're there to support and, and guide and hold space where they can move. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And um, what do you see as the biggest challenges or maybe struggles with the, the, your clients' main struggles? Mm. Uh, the main one is lack of clarity. Yeah. Even, even with executives, even with executives who lead teams, you know, like yeah. Uh, uh, dozens of reports and you know some people like have hundreds of people reporting to them and uh, one of the biggest uh, struggles is lack of clarity about what's next you know they have achieved so much they have grown in their in their positions and then at some point they're like okay what do i do now what's next for me and it's like if they, they they start feeling paralyzed and that's the time when we usually connect, okay? Whether it's like I mentioned earlier, they want to move up the ladder within their, uh, their company or they're thinking about what's out there. Maybe there are more opportunities out there that I'm missing, right? and yeah so that that clarity when they uh, when they're feeling stuck that's what i hear the most you know lubna i have i have done so many things but now i feel stuck i don't know what to do next and that's when we start like working together and and the first step is to reconnect them with their with what's important to them yeah. and we go through self discovery process mm -hmm. to do that yeah that is extremely interesting and, and I can imagine that it's very rewarding as well for uh, both your clients and yourself. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, definitely. Uh, this, is, this is a good point because it has to be uh, a mutual uh, relationship of, you know, of, of growth, I would say, right? I'm supporting them, but I'm also learning from them and I'm observing them and I'm learning new things and thinking about things differently and changing my perspective. And that's what they're doing at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And whatever I learn from the current clients, I will be able to, uh, to use in some way to support other clients and challenge them and challenge their thinking. Yes, yes, yes. And, and the relationship uh, also has to be based on uh, trust, right? Okay. Right, Fabienne, you know that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and, and by the way, that is one of the, the, the milestones, I, I would say, I help them with as well, is to mm. genuinely connecting with their team and building trust. Yes. Uh, 
without trust, everything is more difficult, more complex, slower, and therefore everything costs more. And yes. that's how I believe that trust is the new currency. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. And you know what, like, if you look at uh, Lencioni's uh, pyramid, you know, when he talks about high performing teams, I mean, that's the basis, right? Mm -hmm. You start with trust and you keep building the other uh, things. Yeah. It, it is it's largely underestimated the, the amount mm. of trust. And what I notice, and, and maybe you notice this as well, is that it, it is largely underestimated by executives, by senior management, but even mm. by CEOs and, and executive committees, they, they underestimate it. Do you recognize this as well? Uh, yes, and I would say I would say that the teams, uh, the teams or the organizations who recognize that they perform much much higher, and they keep growing. And I think that their growth is much faster, right? Because because most people are aligned. They're talking this. They're speaking the same language. They're speaking the same language. They're not watching their back, right? So yes, totally. Trust, trust is is very very important. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now, yeah. um, Lubna, um, who do you consider uh, to be the most inspiring leader, or maybe one one of the most inspiring leaders? Uh, so you know, there are a few. Uh, but I guess I'm gonna go with uh, with Nelson Mandela. You know, uh, it's just an example of uh, resilience and 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 inspirational leadership and servant leadership. And uh, he he led by example, and he just has some like really really amazing quotes right there there's that quote that i remember he says uh lead lead from the back and let others believe that they are in the front oh, wow. right beautiful yes so he's he's kind of providing the direction and without telling people what to do and it's so interesting because now that i'm saying it out loud it just reminded me of what we were discussing earlier right us as coaches we're providing an environment for our clients to feel safe yeah. to feel trusted right to feel safe and then grow within that safe space that we create for them so yeah so yes, so I think Nelson Mandela is really great, uh, great example. And as a matter of fact, so I have a friend who teaches leadership, and she always uh, mentions him and has some of the videos from uh, from the movie from from the movie about uh, Nelson Mandela. So yeah, so that's what came to my mind. Yes, <laughs> but of course there are many, many other examples many. as well. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, and uh, how do you uh, keep up with, you know, knowledge and expertise? How, what do you do, uh, Lupna, in order to develop further? Because, you know, mm. we as coaches and mentors and experts, of course, we have to keep on developing ourselves as well. Yes, yes. So i never stop learning i'm a coach but i also have coaches and at a given time i always have at least two coaches right and you and i that's how we met we yeah. had the common coach right yeah. we are coaching executives we're coaching teams we're coaching many people but at the same time uh, i also realize i'm not an expert in everything and i need to keep growing i need to keep looking at the trends and there are many other coaches out there who who bring a lot right when it comes to growing the business when it comes to thinking about uh, how to develop programs how to support clients and also also uh, uh, 
uh, making sure making sure that there's a variety there's a variety in the learning right mm -hmm. and along with having coaches i also make sure to continue reading books or listening to books okay because when i read it takes me much much longer but i use the audio books and i think it's uh, it's very important and and then i hear that from many of my coaches right they uh they try to read as many books as possible in specific areas and that's how you build uh, uh, the expertise as well so yeah, absolutely. yeah yes definitely and of course also you know a conversation <laughs> like this one that yes he will yes. be sharing with with the world and you know just yes. brainstorming or thinking out loud between you know colleagues or between peers or yes. coaches. in our case we, we're both coaches and mentors that's very exactly fun. so you know there's a word there's a word that i've learned so you know it, yes and we see more and more of uh, people who are in the same area and the same field collaborating and developing partnerships right and like you said this is exactly what we're doing and i call that cooperation right uh -huh. So we collaborate, we cooperate, so it's cooperation. And it's not about competing or seeing who's going to have more clients or not, because that's not the point. Like you said earlier, Fabienne, it's about servant leadership. And I think most of us come from place of service. And that's very, very important mindset to have. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And also, you know, Lupna, just like yourself, I really love to to empower women. Well, in my case, mm. I have chosen to work with female managers. And what I didn't think was possible in the past happened. And I really can say now that I really love my clients. It's, it, of yeah. course, it's not romantic love, but I really love my clients. And yeah. the, my only, my, my philosophy and, and my, my business are built around just one question. And that's how can I help my clients to yes. try to shine and to thrive? And so, yeah, I, I just love to empower women because in the past, I didn't have a coach. I didn't have a mentor. Yeah. I had to figure everything out by myself. And you just mentioned the this topic about uh, competition. I, I really don't believe in, in competition. I mean by that, we are all unique you are unique you have your unique gifts and traits and talents and there is space for everyone yes totally yeah. totally yes and and you know like uh, when i see my coaches right i see them partnering with so many leaders out there right and everybody's growing and everybody's bringing some unique uh cont contributions to the clients yes. right yeah. so yes it doesn't um yeah so it doesn't stop us from from continuing to grow and continuing to to share our knowledge with everyone yeah yes yes and that's why we are talking now <laughs> exactly 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 <laughs> yes 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 and we get to do more of those things right working um, with each other yeah 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 um Lupna can I ask you something well I'm I'm, I'm asking questions anyway <laughs> if, if you would unapologetically follow your heart what would you be doing even more oh oh yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> I would be traveling more and speaking to younger younger generations Really? You know, yes, that's actually one of my, yeah, that's, that's part of my mission. You know, I know that I work with executives and I also work with students. So I have, uh, yeah, there are some classes I teach for uh, graduate students who are in their, you know, late twenties, early thirties. And 
I love seeing them just absorbing the knowledge and listening and doing things and asking questions. And yes, I would love, I mean, I would love to uh, keep empowering the young women because it reminds me somehow of myself, you know, and like you said earlier, like I, I wish we had coaches. I, I wish we had more people directing us and giving us some like different type of support, right? Yes. And I feel that, you know, that I didn't do everything I wanted to do. I didn't follow my, my first dreams, but I'm somehow reconnecting with, I, with what I'm truly passionate about. You know, it happens ultimately because we have those dreams and we have that purpose that, that we ultimately reach somehow okay yeah. and yeah so to go back to your question yes i want to be talking to these young women and men and telling them that they can do anything they want <laughs> and they can set up you know whatever dreams uh, they want to be uh, 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 thinking about because everything starts with a dream okay nobody can stop us from dreaming and you just keep having that dream and the dream is what we were talking about earlier it's the vision yeah. without the vision it's very difficult to keep the passion ongoing it's very difficult to 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 wake up every morning uh, energized and doing things right so the vision is very important yes yeah. absolutely it is it is yeah it's you know it's it's the foundation on which you build your career and your life uh, isn't it it's, yes yes it's yes. Uh, it's a foundation yes. absolutely that's that's really um very very good advice uh, lukna thank you so much mm -hmm. and by the way would you have a, a golden nugget for our audiences a golden nugget mm, with regard yeah. to self-leadership or leadership or, or both? Yes, uh, sure. Uh, be authentic, you know, don't try to be someone else, be yourself and connect with what's truly important to you. Uh, follow your intuition, okay, because your intuition is never wrong. And I'm not saying just Okay, just follow your intuition without thinking about things, but it's it's a connection between the head and, and the heart, mm -hmm. but the heart, like connecting to the heart and connecting at the emotional level is so powerful and so strong mm -hmm. at different levels, right? Connecting with ourselves, trusting ourselves, and also connecting with others and building uh real relationships right true relationships so yes be who you are stay authentic stay vulnerable so that's what i would say yes that that is really a golden nugget because i noticed that a lot of people lost themselves mm. you know what i mean yeah. And especially, you know, in managerial roles, in leadership, often they try, they, they pretend to be something mm. they're not. And of course, yeah. that's not sustainable. It, yeah. it, it, it drives you <laughs> to burnouts or to whatever. Yes. It, it's just not sustainable. So it's true what you are saying it's extremely important to be yourself to be yeah. you know, true to yourself and and to to be completely yourself it's not always easy especially in the corporate world you know where there are things such as office politics hidden agenda yeah. etc um but i really believe in in servant leadership and yes. it, it it goes with being and and staying completely yeah. yourself yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes and you know when we say i mean being authentic uh, you don't want to say everything you think about but there are ways of saying things you know politically correct but again 
staying true to yourself means uh, staying ethical and following what you really believe in and communicating, right? Communicating with others and not being pushed or pressured to do things you don't believe in, right? While staying politically correct, even in the corporate world, right? We can do that. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, and especially, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not a, a feminist. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I like to empower women, but I, I have the impression that especially women, they can say things in a politically correct way. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really have the impression that very often women underestimate their own power and mm. they, they, they gave it away. They gave their power away. So it's up to us to help them to get their yes. power back, isn't it? <laughs> so that's the other golden nugget, Fabienne. <laughs> yes. Not to give, not to give uh, their power away. Don't give your power away. Mm -hmm. yeah. And stay true to yourself, yeah. True. And by the way, Lugna, um, so you are working in this, you're working and living in the States. I am living and working here in, uh, in the heart of Europe. Um, but, you know, your, your roots are in, in, in Morocco, as you said at the beginning of the conversation. Do you see differences between those worlds? I mean, is there a difference between corporate America? I mean, the corporate world in America mm. and the corporate world in Europe? What do you think? So I think that everyone is growing, everyone is changing, and you would, uh, you can see that most of the companies that are here in the US have some type of global touch, right? And, and in general, in general, like I think that there's some uh, many parallel things mm. that are happening here and happening over there. Yeah. And mainly in terms of where the leadership is heading, uh, what are people looking for? You know, people looking for more connections, more, 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 more real connections, and they're looking for similar things in terms of of growth and support and performance, right? And uh, when it comes to uh, coaching, it's booming everywhere. I can see in Morocco, there are so many coaches out there. The corporations are, are very much focused on, on bringing that type of support to their employees. So yes, it's growing everywhere, maybe uh, not at a similar rate, but okay. it's growing fast. That is, that is a yes. very positive evolution because yeah. You know, a few years ago, um, taking on a coach was perceived as, oh my God, I'm not doing my job well, you know, I'm... I'm yes, yes, exactly. I, well, I suppose that this perception still exists, but yeah. I'm very glad um, to hear yeah. that there is this positive evolution, you know, because we are in this business and, and in this profession, mm -hmm. we, we might get a little bit blinded. <laughs> For us, it's, 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 the, it's the most no, you're right. thing in the world. <laughs> no, you're right. You know what? That's true, because that was the perception, uh, like in, in, large, in large organizations. Uh, when they brought when they brought in a coach, it meant that the performance was going down the drain. It meant that things needed to be changed. But people people now understand better that uh, when you have a coach, it's actually amazing because you're taking a proactive approach exactly. to your growth. Exactly. You're thinking about life differently, and you know it's not just about uh, the job or the career. Because when you start changing your career, you can transform your life, right? Exactly. And you get to focus on different areas of your life. It's not just the work or just the relations or just the health and wellness. But, you know, if we look at the wheel of life, we have so many components and we get to have a balance in all of these, right? Absolutely. And, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. By the way, 
the 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 only and best thing you can invest in is in yourself and i exactly. truly 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 believe this nobody uh, can take it away from you and that's what we're doing you and i i, I mean like i said we coach people but we have coaches because we want to keep moving forward we don't want to stagnate right no. don't stagnate no. and, and you know what there was some something i wanted to add in terms of uh, uh the global corporations you know many many large organizations even have internal coaches right they have they're even building uh, a group that provides support internally mm -hmm. to their executives and their uh, managers and all the employees yes and i see that here in the us uh, in multiple industries, in biopharma, in financial services, in CPG, right? All the big, the big companies. And, and, and you know, actually, uh, my brother, my brother works for Procter & Gamble. He's been working for them for like more than 25 years. And he's, he's an internal coach there. Oh, wow. Great. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It just reminded me. So yes, all those big global organizations mm -hmm. are very much aware that they need to keep a high performance environment mm -hmm. and they're providing continuous support and guidance to their uh, employees. Yes. Yeah. Uh yeah, absolutely. Especially now, where you know the the world has has changed so much and so quickly. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, interesting. Yes. Very, very interesting. Exactly. Plus, plus, when you look at all the major, uh, like all the successful people, whether it's in the business world or in the sports world, they all have coaches. Of course. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean. Yes. Absolutely. I I was saying this to to a lady the other day. I was saying. Um, you know, every in in entertainment, you know, rock rock stars, yes, uh, exactly. athletes, they all have coaches. And you, as a manager, you are the corporate athlete, and you don't have a coach. You must yeah. be kidding. I mean, it's exactly, true. it's true, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think it's changing. It's changing. People, people are changing their perception, and actually, some sometimes people are just not aware that it exists. You know like so i can take my own example a few years ago i had no idea what coaching was and then once i tried it i'm like every year i have a coach whether it's the same or new one when i when i see that i that i'm seeking support in different areas that i want to challenge myself further then i look for different types of coaches and it could be a business coach, a growth coach, a health coach, whatever type of coach I need, right? Yes, absolutely. So. And especially for people in key positions, uh, yes. in, in management positions, in leadership mm -hmm. positions, mm -hmm. they they all should have a coach or a mentor oh, yes. or both. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Exactly. Right. Okay, uh, Lupna. Um, I think that we can slowly wrap up our fantastic conversation. I, I know that we could go on for hours. I know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if it's okay for you, uh, maybe let's let's wrap up and uh, with with one last question. Where can people find you? How can they reach out to you? Um, I, I so they can find me on LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn, uh, Lubna Araji. Um, otherwise, my website is Advances Consulting. Advances Consulting. A D V A N C I S. Advance. Advances. Yes. <laughs> it's about advancing and continuing to advance. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yes, great name, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, now I will uh, leave your contact details, so your, sure. your social media channels below this this video, so that sure. people can find you. Yes, yes, okay. yes, and we all should continue to connect with each other, right? Yes. You never know. You never know what life will bring. You know. Yeah sometimes yeah the goal the goal is to stay connected with people without 
any specific goal actually right you want to connect because you find them interesting because you think that you want to follow them and learn new things and in the future you never know where the collaboration takes you right so yes you yeah. are so right and by the way that's also a golden advice and especially yes. to women because we women we are not that good in networking mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. compared to our male colleagues uh, so that's that's really a very good advice, uh, Lupna, um, to you know to continue yes. reaching out, networking, um, absolutely. So thank you so much for this lovely thank conversation. You. Thank <laughs> you for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so welcome, and we will definitely keep in touch. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, Fabienne. Bye.